This is Boss Castle as it normally looks. Keep your eyes on the bridge. And this was Boss Castle yesterday. So how was this torrent of water unleashed? The North Cornish coast is used to flooding, even in summer, but the village of Boss Castle was hit by a freak, highly localised weather event. In the summer months, moist air from the sea comes in from both sides of the Cornish coast. Nothing unusual in that. Yesterday, it formed rain clouds over Boss Castle. These were monsters rising up to 40,000 feet. Normally, high pressure prevents them ever getting that big. Then the rain started, and crucially, this weather system remained static for six hours, allowing nearly six inches of rain to fall over the village. The geography of Boss Castle made matters even worse. It's surrounded by hills and has two rivers which converge along its main street. Here you can see the rivers, Valency and Jordan, which by yesterday afternoon had burst their banks. Now if I turn the map round so that we can look upstream, you can see why the village was inundated. The rainwater cascaded down the hills and added to the uncontrollable flow of water from the river. The river, teeming with debris, may have got partially blocked as it flowed into the village, helping it burst its banks. Nothing, it seems, could have prevented it. Against an event of this magnitude, I'm not sure at the moment that there's ever any way of, pre of preventing uh, flooding when you have so much rain in such a short period of time. An almost identical freak weather event happened 52 years ago to the day in Lynmouth on the North Devon coast. Again, two rivers which join in the village burst their banks after torrential rain. 34 people died in that disaster, showing just how serious yesterday's deluge in Boss Castle could have been.